What's up guys, it's Sean from Next Gen Boards here again, and um, I'm showing another kind of runoff of my other video of Rain Meter, that was more of an introduction, I'm going to show a more in-depth tutorial on how to install the skins and use them better. Um, so I got a question, how do you really install the skins, so I'm just going to show you, I went to customize.org, that's a place to get a lot of things like backgrounds and Rain Meter skins. Um, I'll go to something I never downloaded before. Um, let me just find some here. I'll go to Browse Rain Meter. See, this is what you do basically if you just first were going to get a skin. You just go to something like DeviantArt or Customize.org. You browse at Rain Meter and you'd find something you like. Let me just see in the popular ones what's cool. Alright, um. I guess this looks kind of cool, this Lexus one. So I say, hey, that's cool. Go to Download File. This has the zip of the uh, files in there. Then you hit this, open with RINRAR, and uh, you'll get this. Just let me put this on the desktop real quick. All right, now this is the folder with the configs. As you can see here, it's got the configuration settings, the image for it, and all that stuff. This is what you need to put in your rain meter folder, not your program files folder. That's where some people get confused. You need to go to um, your My Documents. Like when you first install Rain Meter, it'll put a My Documents folder for Rain Meter and then skins in there. This is the default. I don't know. Maybe you changed it, but find this one. Now, the regular program file does have a skin folder, but that's not where you put the configs. I think that's for the default skins, like Enigma, that come with it. But once you get this open, just drop your skin in there and then refresh all or if that didn't work sometimes it didn't work for me just uh, exit and then reopen rain meter but um then you go to your configs and it's there now you see if I open this it opens a uh, little calendar thing here you can always close them if you don't like them now you can see now like I have this theme here. This is my default theme. This is what I like. I like my iTunes thing in the left, my meter, this bar that came with Enigma. I like my RK launcher. This is just like a dock here. Um, that's not part of Rain Meter though, so don't worry about that. And then I like my weather, and then my clock and my calendar. That's basically what I like. If I want to change stuff around them, but keep this good, you can always go to Themes, Manage Themes. You can save your theme just write my theme I guess and save it then you can open up other themes you can open up like wing firefox I'll load that that's one of the default themes hold on one second it's gonna load it up there okay yeah it loaded up some things this for some reason they got low transparency you probably can't see it because of the light background I have but it's basically some of the same stuff I had if I load a uh, Enigma preview, this is a preview of Enigma. It's got a lot of stuff. You'll see. Just one second. It's being kind of slow because of the recorder. All right. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff here, as you can see. But yeah, if you load those up, you can see the skins. Now, don't be fooled by the uh, regular like, as it says, skin. It's not. It doesn't mean these skins when it says you're downloading a skin. It's talking about the configs. If you right click on any um, config that's open, remember you gotta right click right on them because they're really sensitive. Um, you can go to your configs and edit all configs. And remember, if you save your theme and if you mess around with something, say I wanted one of these, oh that looks cool, put that over there, oh I like that a little bit, you know. Pick another one from this clock, oh that's a cool clock, oh, I'm gonna put that over here, you know, get a couple things, oh. Oh, I like this. I'm going to leave that up there. Oh, wait. I don't want this stuff. I want my old one. I'm bored of this. Oh, wait. There's too much stuff. I don't want to edit them by deleting them all. I want to get my old skin back easily. Well, then you can just go to your themes, manage your themes, or you can just click the theme, and then you can load your old theme. Now, I know I only had like three extra ones, but just saying some people will go crazy and load a lot of configs up, and that's an easy way to get your old theme back. But yeah, that's basically what's it. You just go to customize.org or DeviantArt 
um, and get some configs. Now, I also had a question from somewhere right here. He downloaded this uh, skin, Chalk Sweet 1.0, and he loaded it, and he wanted the background. Let's see what, what this has in it. And remember, if you got any questions like this, just tell me. Um, I'll make a video. But let's see what's in here. Alright, you got the background right here. Like, it also came in there. So always check that if there's some backgrounds. But yeah. And if you want to remember, you can always just load these right into your skin folder. And just always screw around with it. And like I said, you don't always have to, like, remake your whole theme. You can just save your theme. And then just uh, reload it once you're done. But yeah, there's always a lot of configs you can get. There's, like, a lot of cool setups for your desktop. Like this one that he just showed right here, the guy who asked the question. It, it looks like a chalkboard. It's got a background. There's a lot that come like this, too, where it's got the whole setup where you can just get a perfect desktop like this. So, uh, remember, you can easily get your desktop looking good with rain meter and stuff like this. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any more questions, just hit me up at nextgenboards.com or on AIM or something or just right here on YouTube. All right, thanks for watching.